What is up, YouTube? HPK here, and good morning to you all. Today's video is going to be on car on a car coming out of Age of Overlord. We have Stellar Doom. We have what? What is this? Because this is a very unique, but not too unique because it's in reference to another monster we have currently in the card game. So this is Stellar Nemesis Typhoon, the Doomsday. Are. If the way this monster's name is is laid out, yeah, it's in reference to Zeus, Little A Zeus Sky Thunder, which is a very popular monster in the TV. Uh, with a ton of support that it gets. Well, they decided we're not going to just have this monster not have some record, so they did, and given, us, given it to us in the Age of Ultron. So the OCG translated name for this. Logistar Typhoon, um, which translates us here. This is the first translation, not an official. Um, Stellar Nemesis Typhoon and the Doomsday Star. There's a rank 12 dark attribute, Fiend Type Exceed. 2900 attack and defense requires two level 12 monsters. You can exceed some in this card by using one monster you can control with the highest attack during the turn or the next turn after. Your opponent just summons two or more monsters from the action deck. You transfer all of its material to this card. If this is special summon this way, you cannot normal or special summon mon other monsters for the rest of the turn. Uh, it has two effects attached to it. Uh, its first effect is that neither player can activate monster effects of the effects of monsters with a thousand or more attack while you control this card. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Return one monster, your friend. I mean, you're on your own field to the hand. Cool effect. Really cool effect. Um, its Japanese name is basically the um, combination of logic star. Um, it also hints to its name of Typhoon. So Typhoon, for those who study mythology, you know that it is a monster from Gaia that she created from the darkest depths of the underworld, Tartarus, as a revenge against the Olympians for betraying her. Um, Gaia, of course, is the goddess of Earth. Typhoon is the monstrosity that she sprang from Tartarus, which is the name of the underworld, well, the darkest part of the underworld. And Gaia was not happy with the Olympians after they betrayed her. I don't exactly remember what um, they did to betray her, but yeah, Typhoon is basically that abomination that was created to get re to exact her revenge. I believe Zeus destroyed. Or seal typhoon play. Um, those who play Final Fantasy, you probably remember the typhoon. Typhoon has been featured in a lot of games. Final Fantasy. Um, typhoon's original um release, I think, was in Final Fantasy VI as Typhoon. Um, then his name was corrected to Typhoon. He was featured in seven. I believe he's in nine. He's in Final Fantasy when. First remake on the Game Boy Advance. In Final Fantasy IV's remake, I believe. I don't know if he's, I don't think he's in Dissidia, but I know he's in, um, what is it, the mobile game, um, Brave Nexus, and, um, it, it's a lot of Final Fantasy esque games that feature a lot of OG bosses. Typhoon was a boss from Six. So he was featured in a lot of the games for a port over to the revamp games or port to the games that got re So yeah, that is Typhoon. Um which I don't have too many mess sets on Typhoon except for I believe the Thunder and oh, I think Thunder Match. That's where Final Fantasy is. Anyway. Um Typhoon here in Yu-Gi-Oh! is basically going to be a counteract to the light machine variant that is Double A's Sky Thunder. I mean, literally reading through all those effects, a monster who is summoned when your opponent summons two or more monsters. Literally summoning um, Zeus from the extra that counts as another summon, so you know, another special summon. So the Exceed monster that you summoned, then the Exceed summon of Zeus on top of that monster. There and then all you have to do is put this on top of the attack of the monster. Exceed some of this card on top of my monster with the highest attack. So 
I don't think it even specifies that it has to be any monster as long as there is a And if it has any material that you add it to, are definitely going to put it on top of an NXC monster that you probably already have on the floor. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go on top of it. Like, no, you put it on top of your own Zeus. And then just use that as, as setup. Because now the Zeus that your opponent has can't do anything attached to it. I love the fact that they also thought about countermeasuring Typhoon against Typhoon by having both type having Typhoon be 2900 attack and defense, but only 100 less attack than Zeus. But Zeus can't can do any of his attacks to try to get rid of it. He really has to survive. I like the fact that they're have they have to deal with it. Um, but I think mean, it's a pretty good monster. I love the the history behind it, and I love the fact that it's like an abomination, mechanical wise, is kind of even mocking Zeus itself as its stance and pose are polar opposites. I believe Zeus stands from the left side over, while Typhoon is standing from the right side over. Zeus's armor is blue, accents yellow and gold and silver. Monster's accents are purple, black, with hits of red, and and see the backgrounds are are polar opposites. You have a red background, and soon Zeus has a blue. Even polar opposites between light, and dark. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that I don't believe Zeus is fairy. But Zeus is machine. So it's another aspect of King's mind. Yeah, go a lot too. I would be surprised. T release of Age of Overlord, which I believe Age of Overlord is going to be the last main set for the TC You expect that they're most likely going to make this a secret rare in a whatever high rarity exclusive five cards that are six or six. I think it's seven. So it's probably a quarter century rare for the TCG plus the secret. Yeah, it's going to be like a hundred dollars. It's because of the fact that people are going to want this card. It's a counter to Zeus. It's not going to be a hard. It's not going to be a thing that every no every deck is going to. They can exceed their probably. It's not probably putting generic exceed monsters just so that they can exceed into this so they can't can so they can counter. No, you probably put this on top of your Zeus just to counter your opponent too. Yeah, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Where you really have to do a lot of this just to make sure that you can deal with your opponent. I have to worry about things dealing with you. Yeah, that is basically it for my look at um Typhoon, the Dooms the Doomsday Star. Uh let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the Doomsday Star. Will you be playing it? What decks do you you know, what strategy do you even have to attach with the Doomsday Star? And what more things would you like to add to the lore of this month? Um, because I would be surprised if they did some so let me know all that in the comment section below. And with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap up for yeah. You know, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys and your support. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know I didn't help. You can hit the notification bell to be when I upload my social media links are in the description box below, and you guys can catch me. Bye. 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 With that said, H.